It just got super intense. What the heck is this music, dude? Oh, we got a Koi Koi over here. That's the moon card right there. That's a good one. It's like Blue Eyes White Dragon or some shit. Should I be risky? Oh man, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna Koi Koi. This is crazy. I shouldn't be doing this. This is so nuts. Please give me a Plum Blossom card, dude. Please. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, thank God. Yes, let's freaking go, dude. That's a good hand. No, I'm not gonna Koi Koi now. That'd be insane. I'm sweating a little bit, man. I'm sweating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press yes and see if I can get that soccer card. It's kind of risky, but... Oh, they got... Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That was dumb. That was really dumb. There's no way they're gonna Koi Koi. There's no freaking way they're gonna Koi Koi. That would be insane. Oh my gosh. This computer is insane. So the plan for today was to play multiverses. As you've probably already seen, Morty is out in multiverses. What I didn't think about was that he cost 3,000 gold to unlock. I could pay money, real life money dollars, for Gleamium and unlock him with Gleamium, but I'd have to spend like 10 bucks on that. And I don't really feel too good about spending $10 on something that I could unlock for free just by playing the game. But at the same time, I don't really feel like grinding the game to unlock 3,000 gold. I won't hold you, I was trying to do that. I started up the game and played a few rounds as Wonder Woman and I won't lie, I got my ass beat. Okay, and then I got frustrated. So, you know what? I decided I don't want to play a game that's going to frustrate me today. I want to play a game that's going to be relaxing and calm me down. That's right. Koi Koi. <laughs> this is a game I actually discovered through another game called Soccer Wars. If you haven't played Soccer Wars, it's a game that came out on the PS4 and probably other things. Um, it's a Japanese game, and how do I describe Soccer Wars? It's like... You just kind of have to see it. Like, part of the game, you're fighting demons in a mech. Like, you fight in mech suits and you fight demons. And then, like, the other part of the game, which is arguably the majority of the game, you're just sort of working at a theater. It's weird, but I really liked it. Like, after I beat the game, I went back and I beat it again. And I 100% completed it and got the Platinum Trophy. So yeah, I liked the game. But in that game, you could play Koi Koi as, a, as like a mini game. And that's how I learned about it. If you don't know about Hanafuda, it's just like these old Japanese like playing cards, sort of. You can play mini games with them, but one of the games you can play is Koi Koi. And that's the only game that I know how to play with them. But I think it's really fun. So we're playing Koi Koi today. All right, I'm going to try to explain the rules as I go. And I'm not like a Koi Koi expert, so like... Maybe you might look up the rules online if you're really curious. Oh, it, it uses my Steam profile picture, that's awkward. Oh, if you didn't know, I like Hatsune Miku. I'm literally wearing this shirt right now. Actually, let me show you, I actually have some real Koi, like Hanafuda cards. I actually got these as a gift. That's the moon card right there, that's a good one. It's like Blue Eyes White Dragon or some shit. Oh, all the cards have like flowers and birds and ribbons and stuff on it. And there's like different hands you can get. Like, you, like you're like you trying to get combinations of cards. So like if you get the moon card and the sake cup card, it's called moon viewing. Like that's the name of the hand. And uh, like Tsukimi Zake or something like that in Japanese. And that's like worth like good points. And you're trying to get like the hands that are worth more points. But you have to like... In order to get cards, you have to have cards that have the same type of plant on them. So like, this moon card, I think that's supposed to be like pompous grass or something. So if this is on the field and you want to get it, you have to play another card that has the same grass, like this card. This is just what they call like a junk card. Because it doesn't really have anything else on it, just a plant. So I'd play this junk card and I would get the moon card. And then if I already had the sake cup card, then that would be like a hand. And then at that point, once you get a hand, you can decide to stop the match. Or you can say koi koi, which means like you keep going and try to get more points. But then you risk the other person getting, like the enemy, to get a hand. And if the enemy gets a hand, then, and they decide to stop, then you won't get any of the points that you want. They'll just get theirs. So there's a couple different ways I've played it. I've played one way where you like keep playing. You play like three rounds and then at the end of the third round like whoever has the most points wins. 
but I've also played it where it's sort of like Yu-Gi-Oh where you have like a health amount and the amount of points the enemy gets takes away from your health and then you just like keep playing until you have zero health or whatever. This is how you decide who goes first, the Oya. It's like each type of like plant represents a different month in the year. Two people pick a card, like draw a card at random, and whoever has the plant that represents the month that comes earlier in the year gets to go first. So I'm gonna pick this. Okay, I'm the oh yeah, but it doesn't explain why. It doesn't say which month the card represents. That's kind of lame. Oh my gosh, this dialogue, dude. What the heck? Who wrote this? That's so weird. Yeah, so this is like the field. So these are the cards you want to get, and these are the cards in your hand. So I already have the curtain. Oh, I should explain too, like the best hands are called like the lights, like the light cards. Like there's three lights, three lights rainy, four lights. Those are the really big ones that are worth big points. Then you have like your seed cards, which I think you have to get five of them and you, you only get like five points or something. Then you have um, deer, boar, butterfly, like Inoshikacho. And that's worth a lot of points too. But you have to have, of course, the deer card, the boar card, and the butterfly card. But we'll just kind of, I'll just kind of explain as we go along. This is the card I really want here, the crane, because it's a, it's a light card. But I don't have any card that's got the same plant type on it, so I can't get it. These ones that are highlighted, these are the only ones I can actually get right now. So I might go for this bird because I think it's a seed card. Oh, you know what? I take that back. I'm gonna play the curtain. So the curtain's a light card. It's already in my hand, but I won't get the points for it unless I... It's like kind of hard to explain. It's in my hand, but it doesn't count unless I match it with another card with the same plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that, because that's a good... That's worth a lot of points. So you see, now it shows that I have this light card down here, this seed card, and these two playing cards, or junk cards, or whatever you want to call them. Um, oh, and then after each... Um, time you play then they from the deck here they put more cards in the field also if you don't have anything that matches your card just goes into the field and stays there so now I'm gonna go for this I think that's the boar I think that's the Eno actually know what no I'm gonna go for this card because it's a light card I want that that's more important oh wait a minute oh shoot I'm so dumb I actually didn't have anything that matched with that so yeah now the now the enemy's got that that was dumb Okay, now I am gonna go for the Eno, the Boar. See, now I have a ribbon card. That's another hand you can get. You can get five of any type of ribbons, or you can get specifically all blue ribbons or all red ribbons, or you can get the ribbons that have the poetry on it, like this one here, and get all the poetry ribbons. Um, I don't really have anything good to play now. Actually, I'm going to play this since I already have one ribbon. I'm going to go for that. Okay, and now because the next card... So I played a card. Now they're getting ready to draw a card from the deck to put on the field. But because the plant and the card that they are drawing matches one that's already on the field, or actually two that's already on the field, I get to choose which one it matches with, and it goes to me. So I could go for a ribbon, since I already have two ribbons, but I'm actually going to go for this card right here, because it's a seed card, and I already have three seeds, and I need five to get a hand. Okay, and they just got the moon card. Oh, no, they didn't. What am I saying? I literally am blind. I can't even tell what's going on. Okay, that was scary, because I thought they were about to get the moon card. So at this point, I really don't have anything I could match. The only thing I can match with are these chrysanthemums right here. But they're just jump cards, so if I throw that, all I get is playing cards. And you need 10 playing to get a hand, and it's only worth like one point. But there's a Sakura Cup card, which has chrysanthemums on it. So if I save this, that might play a Sakura Cup card later, and I can use that to get that. Which, would it paired with this curtain card down here, would make, um, I think, Sakura Viewing. Like, or no, it's like Hanami Zake or something like that. But it's worth good points, so I'm gonna save this, and I'm just gonna throw one of my junk cards just out in the field. It's not looking good. It's not looking like I'm gonna get a hand. Oh, nice! I got another ribbon. Ooh, okay. He's got three light cards and a rain man. So if he gets another light card, he's gonna get what's called three lights rainy, which is worth a lot of points. Or she, I should say, it's Meg over here. 
But uh, yeah, so we kind of have to really hope they don't get this moon card right here. And I kind of have to place this now because there's nothing else. I don't have anything else. Oh, nice. Okay. I got Kasu, which is like plain or junk. And I got Tan, the ribbon cards. Nice. Okay. And I can't say Koi Koi in this scenario because I'm out of cards. But if I had more cards, I could say Koi Koi and keep going. So I got two points. So in this game, the amount of points you get not only takes away from their life, but adds to yours. That's different from what I'm used to. Okay, so right off the bat, there's a rain card I can get. I can... Or a light card, I mean, sorry. I've got one down here, but there's nothing I can match with it yet. But I do have something. I have this playing card right here. I could throw it up on the field, and then hopefully it would still be there next round, and then I could use it to get my curtain card. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go right for this, this um, light card up here. I forget what this one's called. I think it's like the Phoenix or something. Oh, and I got the I got the Rain Man by chance because it just happened to be the next card in the deck matched with that. Nice. Okay, so part of me now I can get the butterflies, the Cho right here. Part of me wants to get that because I don't want the enemy to get Inoshika Cho, Bordier Butterfly, because that's worth a lot. But at the same time, I kind of want to throw down the Sakura card so that I might be able to get this Curtain card next round. I think I'm going to do that because I've already got a couple of Light cards. So I think it would benefit me more in this case to throw this down. And hope that it's still there next round. Okay, it's still there. Nice. So now I can get my Curtain card. Now I just need to get the Moon card. I can't get the Crane because he's already got it. Oh, okay, and the Moon card just went onto the field but I don't have any pompous grass that I can... I think that's supposed to be pompous grass, I don't really know. But I don't have any of that. So I'm gonna go for the butterfly, it's my best bet in this scenario. My best option, I would say. And just hope that he doesn't get the... or she doesn't get the, the moon card. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go for this because it's the seed card. The reason why I know that is just from playing it a lot. It doesn't actually say on the card if it's a seed card or a ribbon card. I mean, the ribbon ones are obvious because you can see. But as for like which cards are light cards, which cards are seeds, all that, you kind of just have to memorize that. But after you play it a few times, you'll start to remember. Okay. Oh, he got the Sakura Cup. Oh, no, he didn't. That just went into the field. For some reason, I keep thinking that enemies getting cards that they're not. Oh! Nice, dude. Okay. I got the four lights or the three lights rainy or whatever. Just by chance. I'm a Shiko. Yeah. So that's four lights. Four lights rainy. I'm a Shiko. That's worth a lot. So I got ten points. How much was the... Okay, I'm a Shiko by itself was seven. And then I got Kasu. Oh, I should also explain about the playing cards. If you get ten, it's worth one point. But then each additional card after that gives you one more. So if I got 10 Kasu, I get one point. If I got 11 Kasu, I get two points. 13 Kasu, I get three. I think, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, right off the bat, I'm definitely gonna play this uh, Sake Cup. You can get two really good hands with that. The moon viewing and the flower viewing. Um, Tsukimi Zake and Hanami Zake. But I'm going to throw this and I'm going to get the ribbon card at the same time. Because I have a choice between the plane and the ribbon. So hopefully later the moon card will go into play. And if it does, I have this grass right here I can get the moon with. Or if the curtain card comes into play, I have this ribbon card right here with uh, soccer on it. I can use that. So right now all I can do is get this plane card or just throw away a card. So I'm going to get this plane card. Okay, nice. The crane is in the field, and I have this card right here. I'm going to play it to get this crane. This is a light card. And when I just happen to get the rain man by chance, that's always nice. So obviously, I want to save my Sakura, just in case the curtain comes out. So I don't want to play that. I could play this rose and get the other rose, but I'm pretty sure Cho is uh, the butterfly is on a rose card too. And I don't want the enemy to get that either, so I kind of want to save that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw the rose. Okay, I got Kasu. Now I'll have a choice to stop or say Koi Koi, because I still have cards. I'm definitely going to Koi Koi. And the reason why is because I'm so close to getting 
um, either a Hanamizake or Tsukimizake. And those are worth a lot, because all I need is either the moon or the curtain, and either one that goes into the field, I've got a card to get those. So I'm like, I've got a pretty good chance, unless the enemies got those two cards in their hand, which I doubt it. They might, or they might have one. But I have a, and plus, Kasu's only worth like one point, because I only have ten, so it's not really worth it. So I'm definitely going to Koi Koi in this situation. A big part of winning this game is knowing when to Koi Koi. I love how the music changes. It just got super intense. What the heck is this music, dude? Oh, we got a Koi Koi over here! I'm just gonna throw this... this Kasu card. Oh, okay. So I got Kasu again because I got another playing card. I'm definitely gonna Koi Koi because as you can see the moon just got thrown into the field and I can get it with this card. But I am risking it because if he's got a Pompous Grass or she got a Pompous Grass card, she can also take the moon. It's her turn next. So I could be taking a big risk, but I think it's worth it. Yes, dude. Okay, nice. See, it was totally worth it. Now in this situation, we definitely don't Koi Koi. We could, because we still have a card left, but we're risking that the enemy will get a hand, and then we'll lose all our points, so we're definitely not quite going here. Oh, they had a Pompous Grass card too, and they didn't take the moon? That's dumb. See, that would never happen if you are playing against a real person. They definitely would have took that moon card. I don't know. That's crazy. I must have the difficulty set too, lo too easy or something. But yeah, that was good. Okay, I'm definitely going to take this Rain Man card right now. Oh, and I got the Phoenix by chance. I'm pretty sure that's called a Phoenix. I actually don't know. Okay, I'm going to take this Boar right off the field because I also have the Deer already. So I'm pretty close to being able to get a Boar Deer Butterfly, which is nice. I'm actually going to go for this card right here. Because if you get the all three red poetry cards, that's worth a good amount of points too. And I've got two of them that I can get, so I'm gonna, yeah. And the third one's already on the field. Oh, and I got it by chance? Oh, dude. I've, I've just got, I've just got the poetry ribbons. Nice, dude. Akatan, red ribbons, or poetry ribbons, whatever you wanna call it. Now nah, I'm gonna Koi Koi that. That's worth enough points. Plus I didn't have any el anything else really lined up. Yeah, that's worth five, so that was good, that was good. Okay, definitely going for the boar here, because I can get the boar. I see the butterflies already on the field. Okay, definitely going for, uh, for the curtain right here, because it's a light card. I always go for light cards, if I can. Now I really don't have anything but this plain ribbon that I can match with this one up here, so I'm going to throw that. Yeah, I just have this plain card, so... Yep, yeah, I'm just going to throw that. Okay, I think I can get another ribbon. Yes, nice. I just need one more ribbon now. Oh, nice! I got it by chance! Sick, dude. How much is that worth? Oh, I got- I didn't even realize I got the poetry ribbons. I freaking just won, dude. That's it. That's game. So definitely don't Koi Koi here, it doesn't make no sense. Although sometimes I do see the computer Koi koi when they've, like, already won. So may, I don't know. I don't know why they do that. Negative one. So that means I win, right? That's it. Nice, dude. Okay, I have a feeling I must have this game set really, like, low difficulty. So I'm gonna go into the settings, see if I can turn that up. Okay, yeah, I had the calm level at one. Okay, we're gonna put that at four. Oh, I just realized on the side here it has your Yaku, your hands. Tsukimizake, Tane, Akatan. That's really helpful. That's cool that they have that on the side. Okay, and here it shows you the months. So, oh, this is supposed to be pine, I guess. That's January, plum, February, plum blossoms. Cherry Blossom, March, Wisteria, April, 
So that's when you do the draw in the beginning. Whosoever card is the earlier month gets to go first. And I guess there's a chat for if you're playing online. That's really nice. I only played this for like an hour before, and it was a while back, on this particular game. The one I had on the Soccer Wars, I played a lot. Okay, the enemy is starting to get a lot of stuff. It, oh look, they're really close to getting Boar Deer Butterfly. They already have the Boar and the Butterfly and the Deer's right here. So like the first hand I get, I'm not going to Koi Koi, I'm going to stop. Definitely going to take that because they have the... Okay, see I got Kasu, which is only worth like one, but I'm going to take it because... Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to Koi Koi. Ah, uh, they got Kasu again. They're probably not going to Koi Koi. Oh, they Koi Koi. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Come on, get lucky. Ah, I didn't get lucky. Damn. That's a shame. That's a shame. I forgot about Koi Koi bonus. So they got three for the Kasu, and then they got Koi Koi bonus times two, because they Koi Koi twice. So they got five. Hope that they don't get anything. They're getting a lot of ribbons. Oh, they got the blue ribbons. They're, oh, there's no way they're going to Koi Koi. Oh, they did. Okay. I mean... I won't question it. I'm gonna I'm gonna press yes and see if I can get that soccer card. It's kind of risky, but oh, they got oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, that was dumb. That was really dumb. They wrecked me. They absolutely wrecked me. Okay, nice. So now I can get the ribbon. Oh, and I got three lights just by chance. And I got the the moon viewing too, and the fire viewing. Bro, that's so good. I got three lights, I got moon viewing, and flower viewing because I have the sake cup. See this is where it's like, you definitely should not koi koi here, or at least I don't think you should, but at the same time, I've got two poetry ribbons down here, and I've got the other one in my hand. So the chances of me getting another one are really high, because all I need is another plum blossom card, but at the same time, I risk the enemy getting something, and me losing all these points that I just got. Should I be risky? Oh man, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna Koi Koi. This is crazy, I shouldn't be doing this. This is so nuts. Please give me a Plum Blossom card, dude, please. Okay, nice, nice, okay, thank God. Yes, let's freaking go, dude. That's a good hand. No, I'm not gonna Koi Koi now, that'd be insane. Woo! I'm sweating a little bit, man, I'm sweating. Okay, how many points is all that worth? It's gotta be a lot. 18, nice. Nice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, that sucks. How many points was all that? Okay, nine points. Alright, fair enough. There's no way they're gonna Koi Koi. There's no freaking way they're gonna Koi Koi. That would be insane. Oh my gosh, this computer is insane. Dude. Oh my, this might be it. I've, I, oh. I've just, I, I've been absolutely decimated. No, they got the deer. They got the deer. I'm not dead yet. I've got the deer and the butterfly, but no boar. But I just got the crane. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, that's worth like five, so I'm not gonna koi koi. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm too my I'm too down right now, man. Oh wait a minute! I forgot. I forgot we had limited rounds. It was the last round, dude. That was so dumb. I already lost anyway because there was no way I was gonna get like what 50 points. I would have needed. Well, I would have needed to get enough points to have more points than her. So I had five, and she had what? Uh, 55? So I would have had to have get, I would have had to have got at least 26 points in that last round, two of one, which isn't impossible, but it would have been really difficult. I mean, it'd been really unlikely, but I could have done it. So really what I should have done was Koi Koi and try to get at least 26 points to win. Cause that would have, cause 55 minus 26, would be 30 and 5 plus 26 would be 31 so that would have made me have one more point than her so I, yeah, I should have definitely koi koi but I didn't realize it was the last round this has been koi koi have you already heard of koi koi before this video or is this like your first time hearing about it 
I think in that uh, game that just released on the Switch, it's like 51 board games or something like that. It's got like chess and checkers and stuff. I think it's in that game too, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so I kind of, I almost want to get that game for the Switch just to play Koi Koi. Then again, I already have it on my computer and my phone and my PlayStation. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a fun game? Should I play more of this? But yeah, that's it for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Peace. Koi Koi!